Are you looking to add or demonstrate PDF files on your preferred web pages? Files such as resume, restaurant menu, product manuals, bookshelf, and more. Yes, you can simply do that by using Happy Elementor add-on's new widget called PDF View on your Elementor website. Also, it lets you customize the style, fonts, and outlook in your own way. To get started with the PDF Viewer widget, you need to install and activate these plugins. The free version of Elementor and the free version of the Happy Add-ons plugin. Firstly, you need to create a web page. To do that, navigate to Pages, then add a new page. Give a title to your page and then select the default template to Elementor Canvas. After that, click on the Edit with Elementor button to design the page with Elementor. You'll be taken to the design page. Now click on the red plus button and then pick up a single structure. Don't forget to choose the content width from the box to full width. It will give you an entire area to produce your design. Next, type PDF in the search bar. Select the widget and drag and drop it onto the structure. You'll get two major options for the PDF Viewer widget, PDF Source and Settings. Click on the PDF Source. Under the PDF Source, you'll find the two options, URL and Upload File. Now click on the URL and then paste the preferred PDF URL in the field. Once you're done, you can see the final preview of the PDF file next to the screen. Next, click on the link option. Here, you can select the file to open in a new window. Mark it as a nofollow link and also Add a custom attribute to the PDF link. You can see all the changes you made earlier from the front end view. Lastly, download it for future use. You can also upload a PDF file instead of using a URL. Click on the Upload button. Upload a new file or choose from the existing ones. Before you go, do make sure to check the PDF title, caption, and description. Once you're done, you can see it from here. You can set the page number. The number you set from here will automatically show that page number. Let's set it to 3, and immediately you can see the number 3 page is showing up. Before we show the final output, do give a title to the PDF file. Now save the entire design and click on the Preview button. Here, you can see the page number is 3. Let's see again. Set the page number to 1, update the design and preview it. Yes. It's showing the page number is 1 when you enter the page or reload the page. Now click on the setting button. Once you get in there, you can see two important options. You can disable the download icon or turn it on. In this way, you can disable the icon or turn it on. Click on the icon gallery to choose your preferred icon for the PDF file. Next. Change the width of the PDF file. This also includes the height. And set the alignment as your expectation. Click on the Style tab. You can get two options to style, title and button. Click on the title button. Pick the text color from the color picker. Next, you can change the topography.
from here, you can change the font, font size, weight, transform, style, decoration, line height, and letter spacing. It's now time to style the title bar. Adjust the bottom spacing. Change the background type, gradient and classic. To add a background, click on the button and choose the image for it. Once you're done, click on the insert media. It will be automatically added to the title background. Now change the position Attachment, Repeat, and Size. See if it's okay with you. Next, add padding, border radius for a better look. To change the icon style, change its color. size and spacing click on the button section to change button color and background change the padding adjust the topography style add a border type and border radius to the button Next, you can add two types of effects on the button. Set it to normal or add a hover. To keep it normal, add text color and then background color. Lastly, you can add a border shadow if you need to. to experience different styles that suit you best. Next, let's see how you can add a hover effect. Click on it and then add text color, background color, and then adjust the box shadow effect. Once you're done with the final design, save the file Preview it from the front end. Click on Advanced to explore more options. It's a default feature of Elementor. Also, you can add motion effects, mask, background, or make it responsive and more intriguing. For more information on designing your WordPress site, subscribe to our channel and connect us on our social pages to receive updates on designing your WordPress site using the Happy Add-ons plugin.